What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to look at a salvage system. So first I'm going to show you uh, what this system does. You have options in the parameters of the plugin to dismantle items uh, right from the menu and you can disable this and have it uh, called upon by using plugin commands that could be issued through items or events. But uh, we've got some items in the inventory that we just picked up. And you can see in the Dismantle 2 box on the right hand side of the scene, you can uh, see what you will get, but you will not see the chance uh, to receive those items or how many you will be receiving. Um, so you can specify how many you get and the chance that you're going to get them. In this uh, instance, everything is a 100% chance, but they are different numbers based on the value of certain items. Um, except for this one, which uh, seems to just fail every time. So I don't understand why that doesn't work, but I'll show you the code for that and then maybe you guys can help me figure that one out. But um, if we go down the items here, you can see we're getting different raw materials from dismantling uh, certain items. And this is basically uh, the salvage system, but it reminds me of the Witcher 3's dismantle system and it's kind of. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. Alright, so you're going to need a plugin for this, to obviously, to make it work. Uh, Mr. T's Salvage Items plugin. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get that. Um, he has, Mr. T has a really, really good uh, script for VXAce, which will let you craft and everything. So uh, if you still use VXAce, check out Mr. T's uh, crafting system script. It's really awesome. Um, but that's off topic. So go to the help file. Really simple, really short. Uh, how you uh, set this up you um, basically create your your items that you want to uh, be salvaged into and then you're going to put note tags in the items that you want to be able to salvage into other things so this is like the reverse of crafting crafting you'll consume multiple items to make an item and with salvage you're going to basically destroy one item and get multiple items or a single item back and so you're going to use this setup, you're going to use the, the type is the first, so you're either going to put an I for items, A for armor, or W for weapons. Then you're going to put the ID, the location of that item. Then the next number, uh, you're going to put how many of that item you're going to receive upon dismantling or salvaging. And then the next number is going to be the percentage chance. Now you can't use uh, actual percentages, you have to, uh, according to this and uh, what it looks like, you have to use just actual numbers so one would be a hundred percent so if you wanted to do a 75 percent chance you would do 0 0.75 if you would like to do um, 25 percent you do 0 0.25 and you're gonna close it off with the slash salvage note tags don't forget that most of these are cap sensitive if you would like to disable it from the parameters of the menu uh, so you can't access the, the dismantling salvage screen from uh, from your, your basic menu then you can do that and use this plugin command to activate the uh, the scene with an event so here's the the plugin command salvage scene so right here is where you would turn this you would type in false if you want to disable it from the menu um, you can rename what you want it to say default says salvage um, I've gone with dismantle in light of how awesome Witcher 3 is um, you can also toggle if it's in the menu um, and then you get to a certain point or you can have the game start where it's not in the menu and then like you get to a certain point where you talk to a crafter and then it becomes in the menu so you can set that to a switch and if you do um, how you would do that is you would say okay um, say you want to use switch 10 you would put 10 in here and if switch 10 is off it will be disabled and if switch 10 is turned on it will enable it at that point um, this is just a text command for when you uh, when you dismantle item, what it says. So spin dismantle two is what I've said. Um, this is also the text command that pops up in the box that says uh, what it says when uh, you actually get a failure. Uh, the reward timer is just how many frames you want it, the window to be uh, active, and then you can actually put a background image in the scene, which will. Uh, make it a little more custom if you want to and you would put this in your IMG slash slash system folder so that's the parameters there let's go into the database and take a look at uh, some of the commands 
So I was thinking maybe this is why it wasn't working. Maybe it has to actually have the zero beforehand. It doesn't seem like it makes much sense to me, but some of these plugins are very, very sensitive when it comes to caps and and uh, syntax and formatting and everything. So I'm going to retry this one. The idea behind this item was uh, you have a small percent chance to get random different things. So it's a seemingly useless item, but when you dismantle it, you, it could be anything. You find these as you rummage through junk piles in the sewers and whatnot. Um, let's go down. Uh, well, let's go to the top. So right at the top, you have uh, like moldy bread, and we're basically when you dismantle the moldy bread, you have a uh, hundred percent chance to get two of item number 54. So if we go to 54, we can see that this is fungal matter. So you're going to get some fungal matter from uh, the moldy bread. And you can actually have weapons dismantle into items, or items dismantle into weapons, or armors dismantle into weapons if you want to do something crazy, or armors dismantle into several items. It's up to you how you want to set this up. Just remember to open it with uh, bracket salvage. Use the, no, the the item note tag, so it'll be I for armor, A for or I for item, A for armor, W for weapon, and then the ID, which will be the location you see right here. Like so, for this Cobra form enchantment, it's 31. Uh, for the bone ashes, you would use 50 and so forth. And uh, this is the quantity. So when I salvage the werewolf fang, we have a 100% chance, because we're using one, to get three of item 50, as you can see right there. So that's how it works. Um, I want to double check one more time. Since we uh, changed the seemingly useless junk from 0.3 to 0 0.30, let's see if it makes any difference at all, and maybe that fixes it. See, I'm calling upon this from, uh, well, I don't have any items. Uh, I'm calling upon the menu uh, through an event, and I'll show you that event real quick. Let's test this real quick. There we go. So it's very specific. You can't use 0.3. You have to go 0 0.30 for 30%. But now it seems to be working. So we're having that random chance to get different items. We got fabric, raw silver, fungal matter. This time we got uh, bronze and gold. and uh, Very cool for getting uh, multiple crafting components out of one item really neat but like I uh, showed at the beginning it doesn't work if you do 0.3 you would actually have to go 0 0.30 for it to read as 30 percent uh, but that's basically going to do it um, hopefully you guys like this video if you did remember to like favorite share and subscribe thank you guys so much for your support we hit a thousand subs today so yes we won the internet for the day um, continue to like favorite share subscribe give me uh, all the support ask all the questions in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next tutorial.